Hello, this is Sunny. Welcome back. Compared to the dollars American workers make, we Chinese workers work so hard for much less money. You make dollars, we make cents. Ah, but we have a sensibility. We waste nothing. And we are very careful with our money. Here's nine examples for you. Number one, eat only rice and vegetables. If you eat chicken, raise them in your backyard. Cut off their heads and pluck the feathers and cook the whole chicken. Eat all parts, including feet and what's inside. Don't buy naked chicken at a grocery store. Too much money. Too many parts missing. Number two, hide your money in the mattress, but don't smoke in bed. Number three, eat all parts of fish. The eyeball is the best part. We give it to our children for special treat. Number four, don't buy toilet paper. Use newspaper. Read, relax, and wipe. Number five. If you eat a pig, follow the same directions for chicken. Except eat the head. Don't throw anything away. Plus, eating pig head could improve your math skills. Number six. Do you like gambling? Don't gamble in Las Vegas. Gamble on side streets or alleys. The government will never find out. No taxes taken away from the winnings. Number seven. Don't waste money on buying a lot more. Keep a goat. He will eat a grass, and keep it short. When summer is over. Eat goat. Number eight. You don't need a heater if you live in states with cold winters. Turn off furnace. Don't give a gas or electric company a good winter. If we Chinese can do it, you American can do it too. Because you have much more meat on your bones. Number nine. Have wife cut here. All she needs is a pair of scissors and a ball for cutting guide. We Chinese sincerely want to help Americans. Currently, we are buying up as much as America as we can, and these days we are buying it up for pennies. You make sense on your properties because we have a sensibility. To buy now. You bought Manhattan from Native Americans with the beads, and now we are buying the rest of your country for just pennies. Thank you very much, and see you next week.